Well, here we go once again, every anime in seven words, part two, which only needed 6k likes on my first part in order to get this part and uh... Yo, like, w what's going on here? So, with that said, if you want a part three to this every anime in seven words series, and would like to see me go across every single anime known to man, even though I doubt that's humanly possible, the light goal for that will be, I mean, let's let's just bump it up to 10k. I mean, you guys happen to get that in no time, so I, I doubt that's even a challenge at this point. But anywho, what I plan on doing in this part in comparison to my first part is that I won't be doing recommendation scores. I realized how dumb that concept was when my anime list is like right there in the description. Description. So if you're looking for anime recommendations, anything I put on there eight or higher is something I might recommend. That is all. And it will make my editing job like 20% more easier. So hey, good for me. So yeah, add me on there if you would like. And uh, yeah, I think it's it's about that time we get into this video. Starting with Demon Slayer or Kimetsu no Yaba if, if you're a f***ing weeb. Oh wait, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I mean freaking weeb. I, I gotta stay family friendly, you, you know? There are some demons you must protect. First off, I need to congratulate anime for having a male and female character who happen to be brother and sister and uh, related by blood, but something's off. They're not actually sexually attracted to one another. We really must be living in a different timeline. Well, despite this anime's title, there are some demons that don't deserve slaying. Or, there's one demon that don't deserve slain. Vinland Saga! Wow, he seems really angry about something. How heavy are the dumbbells you lift? How heavy are the dumbbells you lift? Would you look at that? A whole anime about exercising. Pretty much telling us lazy weaves to get up and start doing some damn squats. Be sure you have proper form so you can get triple cheeked up. To be completely honest, I am actually quite shocked at how much effort and detail they put into the instructions of these workouts, as well as having a calorie tracker on display. I think we found ourselves we fit the animation. Dr. Stone. Scientific advancement just took a hard reset. Miru Tights. The art of thighs must be appreciated. Typically when you come across anime, you'll always somehow find yourself bumping into random fan service with anime titties and booty, and we all know by now, that sort of thing is... Overrated. But taking a deeper look, digging beneath the surface of Opian booty, there's a hidden organization, a hidden art that is yet to be discovered. And I believe we found it right here. Pioneering back to Rintosaka, thighs and tights have been left unnoticed for a long time, and it's about time it gets the appreciation it deserves. A whole anime to show you normies that butts and chest they, they need to go. Cause the best pillows are created by thighs, and you cannot tell me otherwise. Fire Force. Putting out flames, fighting fire with fire. So I'm curious here, between Maki and Tamaki, who do you guys think is best girl? Honestly, this always has been a lingering question for me, so uh, feel free to comment down below. Let's go Team Tamaki. Kota Geass, truly more than what meets the eye. <laughs> Alright, that, that was that was corny, I'm sorry. Dharma just no index. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot this video was in English dub. A certain magical index. A hand that cancels magic and inequality. A certain scientific railgun. Story following, the greatest Sundere in anime. Wanna fight? A certain scientific accelerator. Even villains have things they must protect. Kaguya sama love is war. The clash between two Sundere in love. Naruto. Don't mind the 41% filler percentage. Now I know a lot of you guys may be asking, why didn't I cover this in my first part? Well, to give you the simple explanation on why I left it out, it's because, you know, I already had Boruto in there. And like Boruto is the GOAT and it pretty much takes the place as the new Naruto. Because it's the new representative and like, it's the only thing that matters now. Naruto is all in the past now, so let's move on to the future. So that's why I only covered Boruto. Naruto is dead. Like, come on, guys. It, it, it's been over with for, like, years. So, yeah, that's the reason why I didn't include Naruto in my last part. Or it might actually be because I forgot about it. Naruto Shippuden. Don't mind the 41% filler percentage. There are some things in life that leave scars, and I think... Shippuden was one of them. All we wanted to see was the climax of Shippuden, like just the just the, the end. But no, the second that Infinite Sukuyomi went off, they were like, let's explore the dreams of every single character in the entire show because we're lacking in the filler department. And the difference between the Shippuden filler opposed to the original Naruto or part one is that Shippuden was something a lot of us have watched while airing and having to go week to week with these filler just it really took a toll on my soul. However, for part one, at least for me, is that I had the option to skip these filler. Although the funny part is, is that I didn't because at the time I didn't even know what filler was. But quite honestly, I'm one of those few that actually did enjoy the filler in part one because it allowed other characters to have spotlight like Neji, Rock Lee, Ten Ten, like 
you, you can't forget about Tencent. But hey, that's an unpopular opinion, so like, I really should hide that from the internet. Psychopaths. Being stressed out is simply a crime. The Promised Neverland. Wow, this livestock farm looks very lively. Dead Man Wonderland. Framed and locked up. Feels bad, man. Wow, these things look like something you would find in a video game. Except there's no respawn. Goto Bun no Hanayome. An all related by blood harem. Noise! Alright, it's not as bad as I made it sound. <laughs> this whole harem is pretty much a variety pack with every dre in the book. Or actually, we might be missing Yandere, but I'm not even mad about that. Goblin Slayer. Goblin Slayer slays goblins. What a surprise. Uh, my friend, you seem a little too over level to be farming goblins, I'm just saying. But to be fair, these goblins ain't no joke. If they catch you sleeping in their territory, you know for a fact they about to have a blast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I need to relax, bro. You gotta stay family friendly. You gotta stay family friendly. Inuyashiki. Psycho goes killing with a handgun. Without a doubt, this dude is crazy. He goes around banging people with his finger pistol as if this was a mighty Call of Duty lobby, and he even has a crazy taste in manga. Like, he, he likes One Piece. <laughs> like, one, one Piece, bro. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm, I'm actually a fan of One Piece, so. We can relax with the dislike button now. No game and no life. A world where games define your life. Wow, that sounded way deeper than intended. No game, no life, zero. Copy my homework, but don't make it... Sorry guys, I, I ran out of characters. But in all seriousness, with a movie like this, they could have tried to be a little bit more unique with the character designs, but like... I don't know what to tell you, bro. See, I'm a fan of the character designs in No Game No Life, but do we really need mutated clones? The Seven Deadly Sins. Lust, Gluttony, Greed, Sloth, Wrath, and the Pride. Well, that worked out conveniently. Terror and Renaissance. Why did Michael Bay direct an anime? Oni Chichi. Interesting relationship you got there with Papa. Nothing like some wholesome family bonding between a father and his daughters. Am I right, guys? Right, guys? Real life. Is this the secret to legal lollies? One punch man. One punch man kills in one punch. I really tried my hardest on this one, guys, I swear. Higuros no nakakoro ni. Do not let first appearances deceive you. At first glance, this would appear to be a very wholesome and relaxed anime with a guy and some cute anime girls. Well, if you're one of those individuals that came to that conclusion, you are absolutely right. <laughs> Something I said that was funny. Mabuseko. Psychic boy tries to live normal life. Very nice grammar indeed. Noragami. The third season will come eventually, right? My youth romantic comedy is wrong as I expected. Oh look, you're getting a third season. Bleach. Don't mind the 46% filler percentage. Well, to those still waiting for the anime adaptation of the uh, final arc, well, um, all I gotta say is, uh, <laughs> Good luck. My little sister is among them. God, I hope she isn't blood related. I want to eat your pancreas. Waifus can die if they are killed. Parasite. A hand lending a hand in combat. Teasing Master Tagaki-san. Pro troll trolls kid all day, every day. Euphoria. A sadistic boy just playing to win. Now, as you can see right here, this is the face of a winner. He doesn't back down from any challenge, no matter what. Respect. The Grisaya series. Man enrolls into an all-girls academy. Of course, based on this description, you may be thinking of your typical cliche harem anime with your typical cliche black-haired protagonist and your typical cliche school setting. But I assure you, there's much more to the Grisaya series than what meets the eye. Our main protagonist, Kazumi Yuji, went through a lot. He went through the terrors of war, the depths of what it truly means to become a trap, and ultimately, you know the harem he has? Well, he turns a cold shoulder to them because he has his priority straight and gotta stay loyal to his blood related si <clears throat> Khan Khan. Little kid versus ridiculously tasteless fan service. Himegoto. Seems to me we got trapped again. <laughs> yeah, at least he's open minded. Evil or live? Is it evil or is it live? Because I don't even know myself. Erased! Need some good advice? Ask the killer. Date alive. Is that his emoto in his harem? Oh, false alarm, everyone. She's not related by blood. Food wars. This is what we would call 
distasteful. Wow, I really just reminded myself that I need to get caught up. I remember finishing season one like two years ago and forgot to move forward from there, or I actually just kind of got lazy. But anyways, this is the tasteful fan service that us weaves need to fuel our everyday life. The exquisiteness ranges from smooth and thick honey to even the notorious tentacles that that has a reputation. Bluing babies. If an anime was created in paint. After going through the painful experience of going through every single seasonal anime for a certain season, which was winter of 2019, for a video of course, I'm not that much of a crackhead, although I am still a crackhead for doing this video right here. It was a journey going through all those episodes, and believe it or not, I completed the majority of those shows, including this one right here, which really left a terrible taste in my mouth. The Gosh Gashi. Snacks are the only thing that matters. Plastic memories. The title is suddenly making more sense. Jojo Tachi no Sadi the animation sensei assisting in creating babies with students hey yo who put this on here violet evergarden writing letters for people who are illiterate all right all right i'm, I'm, I'm playing i'm playing relax relax everyone relax but violet evergarden was definitely an experience if you are looking for two pounds of depression on your shoulders then this might help you out didn't i say the same exact thing for your clonad yo ka Bum with A1 detective skills deciphering mysteries. Zetsuai 1989. Some yaoi action between two stick figures. You can't tell me these guys ain't built like they from One Piece. Monster. Go ahead. Pull the trigger already. Big. Love life. School idol projects. Ooh, voice crack. Girls just trying to make it big. I know I may not seem like the type of guy to watch this sort of thing, but um. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Loki, they got some they got some fire. They got some bangers on here, man. Love Life Sunshine. Girls just trying to make it big. Yeah, pretty much the same concept as Love Life School Idol Project, except with a different set of girls. And between you and me, Love Life Sunshine fans, mute your volume cuz School Idol Projects is superior. Cuz how can you go through your day-to-day -day life without your daily dose of <laughs> Apocalypse Zero? Well, these monster designs are very Unique. So not entirely sure how I'll edit this video knowing that every monster in this damn anime is pretty much not safe for work. However, if curiosity is pulling you towards watching this, you have been warned that this is complete and utter garbo. And it's one of the few things that I've experienced that I genuinely just regretted and dis and just I was left in disgust. But I'm sure by saying this, it'll encourage you more to watch it, so uh just watch out for the big titty monster. School days. Story of protagonist losing control over horniness. Ever heard of the phrase smash at first sight? Yeah, me neither. However, our man's Makoto seems to be quite familiar with this phrase and goes on a smashing spree. Our boy was out here chasing Coochie like Mr. Krabs chasing that bag, which leads him to a very great ending. God eater. Just fighting against endless waves of CG. Freezing. The plot is heavy with this one. And not only the Ken portions of the series, if you go into the OVAs, that's when the plot really gets heavy. But it's quite unfortunate I can't show it right now because, uh, you know, gotta stay family friendly. Monthly Girls Nozaki Kun. From high school crush to manga assistant. Suzumiya Hari no Yutsu. Oh, I'm sorry, English dub. The melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. Didn't know God was a schoolgirl. How clumsy you are, Miss Ueno. How very lewd. How very lewd indeed. Corpse party. Haunted house that isn't gruesome at all. Or maybe it's not a haunted house because it's it's a school house. But still, not gruesome at all. So I believe that is the last of the anime that I will be covering for today. I went through a good handful. And if you want to keep this series going and want to keep fueling it, feel free to comment down suggestions on that, that I haven't covered, anime that I haven't covered yet. So watch part one first before doing something like that because I'm tired of these repeats. So anywho, believe it or not, I actually did an intense seasonal binging session for the past like few days just so I can have some seasonal stuff within this video. And goddamn, this season has been pretty fire. And I'm not just talking about fire force <laughs> i need to end myself so yeah you guys know the deal 10k likes on this video and part three is to come although i doubt that's even <laughs> gonna be a challenge at this point because last time you crack has got the last anime in seven words to like 17k likes i mean i think it's gonna be at 18k or 19k by the time this video is up which is absolutely crazy so with that said hope you guys did enjoy as always and um yeah i will see you guys next time peace Let's